Hello, welcome back. So today's session is about choosing an insert. So I have new sets of tires. Uh, I have a rim, but I don't know what insert to use. And it's going to be expensive if I keep just building and testing on the track. So here is my uh, scientific method for uh, determining. So for example, this tire has a specific insert I call GL. This has a specific insert called blue. This is another insert um, called GS earlier. And this one, no insert. And so what I do is I, for example, I take my traction compound and put it here. And then for a static load, for example, this one, and you see no insert, the static load is, I put it here and I put a battery on it. Because that's approximately the weight, the static weight on each tire of a car. And then I try to look at the tread pattern. So for example, earlier, um, this was the tread pattern for no insert. And this is the tread pattern for the blue G and the GS and the GL. And based on this, this, this one, I put pressure, side pressure. This is static, this is with side pressure. So initially, the no insert looked okay. But when I put side pressure, the pattern looked erratic. With the blue insert, the static looked erratic. Um, the pressure, I tried two different tests, seemed okay. The GS looked very nice in terms of rectangular static. And even under pressure, it held its shape. So I think the insert is well suited to the tire size. This one is a green, a GL large insert, era, erratic, and then although under load it's it's kind of squarish, so it's a different profile than this. So I think this is softer. The tire compresses more, but yeah. So that's it. So the question is, what do I choose? I probably Based on this, I will choose this one. I, I like the shape. It's consistent under static and under pressure. It looks like there's good contact patch. So it supports the tire well. So this is my choice. Uh, second is probably the blue and so on. Uh, so for example, and now this one, to compare, this is my fastest tire. It's a different brand. It's kind of soft. So Rush, let me see how it is. So I just, yeah, try to put it on for 10 seconds. And take it off. It's not so scientific. Uh, let me do another test. I think I did not put it on the center. <laughs> All right, let me try a second time. All right. So I'm curious to see what the tread pattern is on my fastest tire. Uh, as a reference. All right, I can take this off. So if you take a look, it's kind of nice. So it's a big contact patch. I can take a look if you can compare. The contact patch is very big compared to this other tire. It's like big. It's like, it looks like 25% more contact patch. <laughs> Mainly because I think it's a bigger diameter tire. You can take a look. It's a bigger... So that's the advantage of bigger diameter tires. Um, gives bigger, more grip. So maybe this tire is good for... With the low profile, it's good for high grip tracks. Um, and it's not going to be good for low grip. Uh, so I'm going to build it and test it for high grip. 
All right, let me then test this one. So this is right, a rush. 11.4, that's the how fast it was. And I'll try to, I'll try to do the pressure test. So under cornering load, uh, yeah, it's a gut feel simulation. Ah. And that's how it looks under side pressure. Looks pretty nice. Still maintain the shape. That's why it's probably fast. So it's uh, I've never seen, it's very nice this this pattern. All right, so that's it. That's uh, if you take a look, yeah, you can see the difference. Um, the large profile tire really gives more contact patch. Uh, probably good to a certain degree. And if the car is starting to maybe traction roll, I think this low profile tire might be good to run and test. All right, hope this helps. See you, see you.